smartphone security is important because, I mean, many people are using that. I don't carry my laptop everywhere. I mean, desktop, I mean, it's even locked down in my office. Smartphone is a personal device. You carry it everywhere. And also a lot of new technology added to this uh, platform. And that's when it's very likely to have a security problems. Now the individual, they are not security expert, so they can make a lot of mistakes. So that's why it's more challenging to protect the smartphone and then protecting the laptop, desktop, although the problem they are facing are the same. So what we are looking at is a new trend in the uh, smartphone technology. And so this new trend is called HTML5-based mobile app. By 2016, 50% of apps are going to be based on that technology. What are the potential security consequences? Based on that, we actually did a very systematic study. We look at what are the, all the possible attacks. So 2D barcode, that's one thing. By scanning that 2D barcode, you can get a piece of malicious code into your smartphone. Now, whatever the permission you have, malicious code will have the exact same permission. And all of this can get your phone infected with what, what we call a worm. And they can actually uh, duplicate themselves and then use the contact information on your phone and spread that out to your friends. And we found MP3, MP4, and even scanning the Wi-Fi access point, also including this, if I send you an SMS message, and uh, RFID tags, now suddenly, and a different program is triggered, which is a vulnerable one. Now you can see the, this SMS message is sent to here. So this phone rings, and you can see from here, this is the contact list that is actually sent from this phone and to here. So this attacker's phone, just waiting, wait, waiting for this, this message. If this app can get rid of your GPS location, after scanning the 2D barcode, you will be tracked. So this is basically the experiment we did. So after the student scanned the 2D barcode, and he just walked around the campus, and we are actually sitting in our lab and look at our screen, and every few seconds, the code on his phone is going to send us the GPS location. And we are just trying to uh, write a program, so when the data comes into and the smartphone, like 2D barcode. When the 2D barcode comes in my smartphone, we do a filter. We filter out all the code. Only the data can pass. So we're trying to write this filter, and then we'll, we'll put it online and let everybody use that. And hopefully we can get this tool quickly, and so people can use the tool to check whether their app, their app is vulnerable. I mean, in security, a lot of problems are caused by this way. People are just not aware they are facing the risk and they just leave the door wide open. So just a simple practice like that becomes dangerous if you use this new technology.